Don't be scared by the title of this video. It's something simple. You can do an, even an experiment right now in your own home and see how it is. We see these vibrations, oscillations as we call it, or pulsations, some have called it, in the tremors in the magma from the volcano, Fergadespa volcano. What's the meaning of them is that the bubbles, bursting of bubbles, is increasing and decreasing. The size difference, of course, is a matter here. And uh, there is a simple way to show that. Take a syringe, fill it up with a liquid, uh, put your finger on, the, uh, on it, and pull back the uh, uh, plunger. And you will see that bubbles form inside it. Do it several times. You can see as the pressure is removed, bubbles form different sizes. And this is the reason that in the recurrence peninsula, we have these tremors. Of course, we have the blocks of the rock that I already have mentioned. This is a VIP hill and the surrounding areas. They're falling down. The blocks of rock in the rift valley, they're falling down. And they create these bubbles in the magma, like a syringe pulling down, removing the stress and pressure over the magma, creating these tremors that we pick up. This is the structure of the whole Fagodesville area. And I show you also the Reconance Peninsula, how it looks. The same east-facing fault lines are there. These are the areas that we actually have this faulting and creation of a rift valley. They lead to volcanism, eruption, when the pressure is removed, relieved, and uh, uh, the magma rising, it causes this kind of activity, this kind of tremors we see. Uh, we see it in the fissures that uh, are now active in the uh, Gelda de Linger Valley. Uh, in the daylight, you can see actually the blocks of the rocks, that is a VIP or theater or helicopter hill. These are moving downward, and uh, in the Gelda de Linger Valley, they create this bubbling of the magma coming out in the form of the fissure lavas we see.